दिस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑल्सो मीन्स वॉट वॉज द थिंग दैट वॉज हैपनिंग इन केस ऑफ द बाइनरी पैरल लेटर तो हेयर इफ वी कैन सी मीन्स दिस इज बेसिकली दिस इज बेसिकली ए एंड दिस इज बेसिकली बी फाइन एंड हेयर वी वुड बी गेटिंग सी इन फाइन so when we are adding from here so c in is zero okay so we would be getting zero here okay and uh, one as a carry over here for this we would be getting zero here one as a carry over here for this we would be getting one here okay now after this uh, we would be getting uh, zero here and one here fine okay so if uh, we would uh, observe or we can see means we can write down this thing in the form of uh, this also that a not a1 a2 and a3 b3 b2 b1 and b not okay so these are presented in this format fine so here what it uh, it is happening c in 1 c in 2 in 3 okay when we are performing the uh, operation fine so we are getting s0 then c out 0 fine s0 c out 0 s1 c out 1 s2 c out 2 s3 c out 3 fine now this c out 0 would act as c in 1 fine and this c out 1 uh, uh, would act as c in 2 this c out 2 would act as c in 3 fine so this is the basic uh, working or you can say the basic functionality of the binary parallel adder okay so it is performing the operation in this manner or you can say in this fashion fine so this was the basic uh, working or the basic explanation explanation of the binary parallel adder now uh based on this thing this this what we have explained uh, this what i have explained that if the two uh, bits a not and b not are added then we would get s not and c out zero now this c out would act as a c in one okay now in the next phase all these three would be added we would get s1 and c out one c out one would act as c in two now in the next phase all these three would be added we would get s2 and c out 2 c out would act as a c in 3 now these three will be added and we would get s3 and c out 3 as our final answer fine now based on this uh, now next coming to the next slide okay uh, next coming to the next slide so based on this uh, i would uh, means explain you the block diagram of the binary parallel adder fine i would explain you the block diagram of the binary parallel adder fine now here uh, you can observe that uh, it is okay that is a not b not and it is a1 b1 then it is a2 b2 then it is a3 and b3 fine then it is a3 and b3 fine now For a not and b not, what we are getting is zero and c out zero. C out zero would act as c in one. This would act as c in one. Here we would get s one. Now this carry would be acting as c in two. We would get s two. Now this would be acting at as c in three. We would get s three and c out three. Fine. So this is. Ladder three, ladder two, ladder one, ladder zero. Fine. Ladder zero. Fine. Now here in this case uh, means uh, you can assume that uh, C in zero is grounded. Okay. C in zero is grounded because no C in zero is present. Fine. Because no C in zero is present. Okay. So this is basically the uh, diagram of the binary parallel ladder or you can say the block diagram of the binary parallel ladder fine uh, one more thing i would write this is the out zero one okay so what is happening over here what is happening over here 
a not b not is getting added then it will produce the output as s not and the carry as c out not fine this c out zero would act as c in one now a one b one and c in one would be added we would get s one and c out one c out one will act as c in two now a two b two and c in two would be added we would get output as s two and c out two and now c out two would act as a c in three okay so a three b three and c in three would be added we would be getting s three and c out three as the output fine now what happens in this uh, binary parallel adder in this binary parallel adder whenever uh, when the operation of f, f is zero means when the uh, operation of this is completed fine and c out is generated and this particular c out zero is generated then it is passed to full adder one okay and then the process of uh, full, uh, well, full adder one is started okay and then the process of the full adder one is started okay and uh, now when the process of the full adder 1 is completed then this carry is being passed over here then the process of full adder 2 is completed fine now this carry is being passed over here okay now this uh, the process of the full adder 2 is being com uh, uh, full adder 3 is being completed okay so in this way one by one addition is performed okay so here we can see one by one addition is being performed means first this is being uh, this addition is being done then this addition then this addition and then this addition okay now what happens in this binary parallel adder if we increase the number of bits okay if uh, here four bits are present okay now if we increase the number of bits and we uh, make the number of bits seven eight or something more than that okay if we increase the number of bits then this process of addition is very slow it would become very slow why it would become slow because uh, here one by one additions are being performed okay now to resolve this uh, problem of uh, means uh, binary parallel adder uh, what is the solution the solution of uh, this is look ahead carry adder is the solution for the slow speed of the binary full adder okay uh, fine now uh, to resolve uh, this uh, means uh, what we can say to resolve the slow speed means if if we are increasing the number of bits then this binary parallel adder would become literally slow okay so resolve uh, so to resolve this thing uh, the solution for this particular problem is look ahead carry adder okay and binary parallel adder is also known as ripple carry adder it is also known as ripple carry adder okay so binary parallel adder is also known as the ripple carry adder binary parallel adder is also known as the ripple carry adder okay so uh, uh, in this lecture we what we have understood uh, in this lecture what we have understood uh, we have in this lecture we have understood about the address and the subtractor okay so what are the address and the subtractor that we have understood it in this lecture and uh, uh, means in the address and the subtractors also we have understood what are the half what is the half adder and what is the full adder okay after understanding the what is the half adder and what is the full adder then uh, we have moved to the subtractor part okay so in the subtractors also uh, we have studied what is the half subtractor and what is the full subtractor and then after that uh, we had studied the block diagram of the binary parallel adder also okay so this was all about the uh, combination circuits and uh, address and the subtractors so i hope you might have understood it till now so in the next lecture uh, we would be uh, meeting with the some new topic thank you so much yeah, I didn't start the uh, streaming. Uh...